All right, guys, we got a Samsung refrigerator ice maker issue on this one. Um, cooling is perfect on this. No trouble there. Um, the problem is the ice maker. And I will say, every time I see this model, um, it's usually the ice maker that's the problem. Never had any control board issues or anything like that. But what you want to do um, to see if your ice maker is running, um, there is a little test button on the upper right hand side of that front part. I mean, there's some letters right there I'm trying to show you, if you can see that, where it says test switch, and it looks like there's a little arrow. But you probably want to hold that about 10 seconds or so, um, and then if there's you know no noise or anything in the background, um, you should start hearing a little motor hum. Um, you guys won't be able to hear it. Um, the folks house I'm at today they were playing music in the background so you really couldn't hear it but uh, that's usually how you tell um, you usually can't see it because there's not a good view to actually looking at the fingers of the ice maker move so um, you're kind of stuck to well you could use a mirror or your ears so but this thing here it would not move so that usually tells me hey it's a bad ice maker and to get this thing out you just got to remove that little cover that's on the bottom left hand side and you just use a Phillips screwdriver that has that screw holding it right here you just take that screw out and you can get that panel off If you guys are having ice maker issues on your Samsung refrigerator, I do have another uh, video that covers um, a different type of ice maker. This ice maker came before, like, so this one was probably built in 2013 and before. Um, I'm not sure how far it goes back, but the newer ice makers, they have uh, a little bit more trouble. And I got a nice diagnosing video on that one because Samsung wants to want you to put a lot of stuff on the new ones so if you guys have an ice maker uh, Samsung refrigerator ice maker you're having issues with um, I'll have that video linked in the description below but as you see when you get that panel off it opens up the area where the electric connection is and then there's that little tab up top you push that down and pull on it but you also have to get the wire out from its little channel in the back where it won't come out. But this here is what a good ice maker looks like. And usually if you see an ice maker that's the fingers are stuck down into where the ice tray is, that's usually a bad ice maker 100% of the time. So if you pull yours out and you guys see your ice maker stuck down like that, um, that's an ice maker 100%. On these models there's two different ones because there's a counter depth model and then there's a standard depth model so if you have a counter depth model it'll be a smaller ice maker or if it's a standard depth it'll be this one which I think it's nine and seven cubes um, nine's the bigger one seven's the smaller one but you just put the new one in the opposite direction uh, that you took it out make sure you get that wire back in that channel and you hook the wiring back up Once that's in, uh, you hold that test switch, and I don't think it worked that first time, but it does the second time, and it takes about 10 seconds or so. And you actually gotta press down pretty hard on that um, test switch for it to actually press. It's a pretty tough button to press down. Here I go again, I'm gonna hold it a little bit longer. And I'm gonna try to get you guys a, a view of the fingers moving and I mean it takes a couple minutes for the ice maker to go all the way around because um, what these things do when they turn on um, the ice that's supposed to be already in it the fingers move down to pretty much sweep it out and into your ice bucket and it does that at the beginning of these test modes so if there's ice in there and it starts to move it'll go all the way around whenever it goes all the way around you'll see the the fingers move and I'm trying to get you guys a good view of it 
and you'll be able to see the finger, but you can't tell if it's moving or not because they move so slow. But at the end of the cycle, what it does is it fills up with water, and I will let you guys hear that here in a minute. That's how you know your ice maker's working. So, yeah, guys, so likely if you have ice maker issues on this, it is going to be this ice maker. But, um, yeah, this is about to fill up with water real quick, so I'll let you guys hear what it sounds like at the end of it. But yeah, that's it. Um, this ice maker cycled, fills up with water. It didn't do that beforehand. Um, so it was 100% the ice maker. I don't really have any other diagnostics for you guys other than trying the ice maker. Like I was saying before, I never really had any issues with anything else other than the ice maker. Whenever it comes to ice maker issues on this, um, just make sure you put everything back together like it's supposed to be. Give her about uh, four to six hours or so for it to drop ice. Um, that's usually how long it takes. Sometimes it takes about 24, um, depending on, you know, if the fridge has been running or not. But um, that's pretty much it. So if this helps anybody, I mean, give me a like, subscribe, and I do appreciate y'all watching.